So this is what a post site would have looked like in about 1936 and 1937. As you can see we're doing it on a beautiful day in summer. But you can imagine in the middle of winter the conditions for the observers would have been absolutely dreadful because there's absolutely no protection whatsoever from either the wind or the rain or the hail or the snow. It was apparent that they needed some decent accommodation so head observers were instructed to get a hut made locally but built to a standard pattern. This is the hut from Tetford Post which is in Lincolnshire and it's preserved here at the museum. When we come inside the standard pattern hut you'll see there's two bunks for the two observers on duty and over in the corner we've got the stove which was for heating and also for cooking on. It wasn't until about the second year of the war when the observers were issued with a proper uniform. Before the war they were all issued with a special constable's armband which was overlaid with the words observer car and a small lapel badge. Now sometimes they put this small lapel badge in a berry because they found that the berry was the most comfortable piece of headgear to wear with the head and breast set. 